Welcome back, my friends. So today we're going to be taking a look at the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Yes, the Mini. Got my hands on one and going to be sharing it with you guys. So yeah, I got the uh, the whole army out here just because I wanted to compare the sizes of everything once I get this out of the box. But as you can see, the box is a, a little bit bigger than most of the boxes for these mini consoles. It's definitely bigger than the Super Nintendo and the uh, NES Classic box. And it's a tad bit bigger, you know, a couple inches on the side there um, compared to the PC Engine Mini. You know, the original release of the original hardware, the Turbo Graphics, was a heck of a lot bigger than the PC Engine. So uh, we'll have to see. So let's set these guys aside and just get straight into it. So here is the box. Couple things that I do want to say. I am going to be giving one away. I have an extra one coming to me. So stay tuned for that. Talking about that in a moment. And the other thing is a lot of people have been hitting me up. Like, where did you get this? How do you have this? What's going on? And yeah, I purchased this myself. From Amazon Japan, this is the U.S. release. You see we do have the ESRB on there, but Japan got, I guess, a limited supply of these? I, I don't know, but I got mine. A lot of people are getting them. They're getting the Core Graphics, the PC Engine Mini, and hey, it, it is what it is. I paid about $115 with shipping, which is very similar to the price I would have paid getting it through the U.S., but we don't have an official U.S. release date yet, so we're still waiting on that if you don't want to order from Amazon Japan. When I started recording this video, they still had some in stock and I actually ordered an extra one so I can give it away. But there's the box. Let's go ahead and just get straight into it, right? I see, I, I keep the boxes for these things. Um, so I try to, try to keep them in decent condition. All right, it's a little, it's a little stiff, a little stiff. It's okay. Come on. So I, I, I want to see if there's any differences as far as um, when we boot this up. Jeez, it's a, a very tight fit. So she said, let's go ahead and get this out. So I know the, the one big difference is going to be the controller compared to the PC Engine Mini. Um, the Core Graphics Mini uh, is going to have very similar controller to this, but the PC Engine Mini, uh, the controller that came with this, they kept it original to the way it came originally uh, and no turbo sliders. So that's the one thing with the PC Engine Mini compared to these other releases. So we do have a little manual. TurboGrafx-16 Entertainment Super System. Nice. English. It's all in English. This is the U.S., the North American release version. They just decided to send them to Japan. Oh, wow. Okay. Now I think it might be in a couple other languages. French. Whatever, we don't care. Oh my God, I can already see this thing is a heck of a lot bigger than most of these other consoles. Holy crap. Here is the controller. Oh, very nice. We have those sliders for the turbo for the one and two button. Feels very nice. Same, same as, like I said, with the PC Engine Mini controller. A little stiffer than the controllers that I have that are from like 30 years ago, but it still feels good. Um, in the PC Engine, everything responded fairly well for me. But there is that. Really slick. The back, we have the uh, Konami listed there. I think we got, what, like a serial number or something? I don't know. But there is that. What is in the box? What else is in the box? I'm not going to take that stuff out. We have a USB cable and an HDMI cable. I don't need those, so <laughs> holy crap. We're not going to mess with those. So here it is, moment of uh, moment of awe, I think. I'm, I'm actually excited. I really want to see this. Oh, my God. This thing is a beast. Holy crap. Whoa. It, just like the, uh, the PC Engine Mini, where the Hue card would go when you slide the power button over, the little Hue card locker comes out, so they maintained that. Um, detail, a lot of the details are nice. Antenna switch or whatever, channel three or four, but there's nothing on the sides there. Um, pad, you got two USBs. The side, nothing. The bottom, same thing, little Konami and a uh, serial number. And then we do have, oh wow, TurboGrafx-16 on the back side. God, I could never like pull this off on the uh, original TurboGrafx. Probably was doing it wrong. There we go. You gotta, you gotta kind of 
I didn't damage it, did I? No, I didn't. Um, you got to kind of like lift this tab up because it locks into place. As you see, there's a couple little tabs there, so it clicks in. You just pull it from that. Is that the same as the original? I think it is. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. HDMI. And then underneath there, we do have the uh, micro USB for power. So you route that through. That's nice. Route it through. How does that come out? You can route it through from the top and it looks like you could either route it through there and bring it this way with the, the HDMI, or you could route it that way and bring it out to the side. Interesting. Wow, so let's 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 compare this to the size of these other consoles. So there's the uh, Turbo Graphics 16. We got the Super Nintendo right there. The NES, the C64 Mini, put that right there. That one's, you know, a little wider, right? We got the uh, PC Engine Mini, the Sega Genesis Mini. I'm not going to bother with the uh, Neo Geo Mini because I don't really consider that part of this family. But there is that. Definitely the biggest one, not the tallest, not the tallest. The tallest would probably be the NES. Um, the smallest out of these is definitely gonna be the pc engine mini but th there you go look at that comparing it wow holy crap that is awesome let's go ahead and plug this in and take a look let's do it okay guys so we got the turbo graphics mini booted up and we do have some differences here that i want to point out one thing which is to be expected we boot into the turbo graphics side of things on this version whereas the pc engine mini the Japanese region version boots into the PC Engine side. I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? But you're going to notice a ton of similarities. A lot of the games are the same, but there are a few differences. One of them is very minor, but I still find it interesting. I want to go over some of this stuff real quick. The differences, the exclusives between the regions. So in the Turbo Graphics Mini, the US, you know, region version, you get Splatterhouse on this side of things, so you get the US version. Whereas on the PC Engine Mini, it's on the PC Engine side, so you get the Japanese release. Very minor, but interesting nonetheless. I do like seeing it on this side. The other differences are going to be on the PC Engine side of things, so we're going to swap over to that. Now, one thing, very minor, it defaults to the core graphics menu design. You can change that in settings. You just go to Menu Design, PC Engine, and boom. Now you have the white PC Engine design. It's just an aesthetic, doesn't change anything, so it's just gonna be up to personal preference. But there's gonna be some differences here. So with the region exclusives, with the Turbo Graphics Mini, we do lose Tokimeki Memorial and Tengai Makiao 2. A little sad on one end of that, but both of those games I couldn't play anyway because they're in Japanese. So yeah, it's kind of like not a huge deal, but the one issue, is that Tokimeki Memorial did have a couple unlockable games that you could play by hitting select before you started the game. If you want to watch my videos on all that stuff, unlocking the secret games, my PC Engine mini review and unboxing, I'll put links in the description so you could check that out. Um, but with Tokimeki Memorial, you would unlock Force Gear and Twin Bee, so it was like a couple extra bonus games. Sad to see that we don't have that here, but I already knew that. So there is one new game on the Turbo Graphics side or not new, but it's exclusive to the US, the American, and the uh, European version. So we get Salamander. Very neat. That was Life Force on the NES, uh, you know, back in the day. I, I love how this uh, hue card just pops in like that before the game boots up. Very neat touch. You know, they did put a lot of work into the aesthetics and the little, you know, the little minor things that just, you know, kind of make this even more neat. But here we go. We're going to play this for a second and check out the other stuff. Now, the other hidden games, the little extras, they are still bootable on the Turbo Graphics Mini. So none of that has changed. Like Soldier Blade, you can still play the Caravan Edition. And uh, Gradius and Fantasy Zone, you could play the near arcade perfect ports by, you know, holding select when you start the game. Man, I'm sucking at this, but that's okay. Um, so those, those alternate versions are still here. Um, but like I said, those other differences did have to be pointed out. Uh, the one thing too, I already said, Turbo Graphics Mini, you got the uh, Turbo Sliders and the Core Graphics Mini does as well. PC Engine didn't come with that. They're keeping it authentic, right? 
but like for something like this game it's not a huge deal like you can put the slider all the way up and sure you'll fire a little quicker but if you just have it to not turbo you could still hold the button but some games do benefit from turbo and a lot of people were utilizing that on a lot of these games so eh, that's that's one thing that's one thing now the other thing that i'm noticing here is that i'm not noticing uh the shimmer like you would see in r type so i was hearing it's a lot of a lot of little things like with resolution differences between games uh the output and whatnot and r type was like one of the biggest offenders with that shimmer that we talked about for me i, I don't think a lot of people will notice that or really bother them uh you know for most of the people who are into these kind of devices anyway but it was something worth pointing out and i'm not really seeing it in this game so let's go ahead and back out of that you hit select and run uh to get to this menu you could save load you know do your save states load states resume game do all that good stuff so let's return there uh the other thing just to quickly go over we do have some display settings that you can mess with stretch it out uh you do have the you know pc engine gt or the turbo graphics express with the weird uh <laughs> it has like a weird overlay uh filter to the games so let's go ahead and test something else out love those details so as you see i just wanted to show this in video form that yeah when you use this weird little uh display option you do get that like dot matrix filter that's kind of doesn't look the greatest i don't really think too many people will want to play these games this way oops already hit my special and everything you know the games i've tested so far on this system you know using the included controller uh, you know it feels fine everything's responding well to me i've seen some you know technical analysts out there um you know checking the input lag the latency and from what i saw it was 2.5 frames of lag uh comparing this system or the pc engine mini versus a pc engine mini damn it being plugged into a crt so for some people that you know may be a deal breaker but i think those people weren't really going to be interested in a console like this anyway but a lot of people aren't really going to notice uh for me i i mean it feels fine i can't really complain um, the games that i've played that i have a lot of experience with like new adventure island uh, galaga 88 no no issues let's go ahead and get out of this okay so i want to check out r type real quick just to see if it performs the same as it did on the pc engine mini i would suspect it does uh this is one game that the shimmer is really apparent and i've been hearing it's because of the resolution differences uh with this game versus other games and yeah you can still see it so i mean everything's going to be the same as far as performance wise with the pc engine mini versus the turbo graphics mini uh, they're using the same component so i mean it's kind of a given there i uh, didn't think they would be changing you know anything up really so there's that let's test something else out that we haven't seen newtopia okay so this this is one of those games that a lot of people have recommended to me playing over the years but like if you like legend of zelda this is uh pretty legit so check it out um, i have played it a little bit before and yeah I, I think this game is pretty cool so very nice i'm really digging uh oh crap you know playing all these games that i i never played before a lot of people grew up with some of these games turbo graphics wasn't as huge in the states as the pc engine was in the Japan so we didn't get as many games but there was still a lot of solid games for this system a lot of fun to be had oh my god I suck no idea where I'm supposed to go but <laughs> this is still pretty cool Something to definitely uh, waste some time with. Got him. Let's check out Psychosis. I don't think I booted this game previously. A lot of shooters, but there's still some variety here. You know, we got like Splatterhouse, we got Bonk.
Oh shit. Okay, we got it. Splatterhouse. Why not? Dude vomiting on me, man. So guys, there is that. Um, what are my impressions and thoughts? I, I mean, I kind of said what I had to say with the PC Engine Mini. I, I know this stuff isn't for everybody, but if you're a fan of these minis, these things are definitely a lot of fun. There's a you know tons of games to play, and you know after having played with the the Turbo Graphics Mini and the PC Engine Mini, which one would I recommend? I mean, it, it's gonna depend really. For me, it's going to be the Turbo Graphics 16 Mini. I'm sure we do lose uh, Tokimeki Memorial with a couple extra games, Force Gear and, and uh, Twin B. Not a huge loss. Um, I do wish there was a couple additional ones here. We did get Salamander, so that is cool. Uh, you know, can't complain there. It's very neat to see that on this version. But yeah, I would definitely go with the Turbo Graphics 16 if I had to choose one because we have, you know, the Turbo Sliders. Um, the games are pretty much the same other than those few differences. Um, you know, defaults in the turbo graphics side of things, which is kind of what we would expect. But yeah, um, I, I think this is a neat little system. Uh, you know, there's obviously tons of options out there for people to play these games. But a lot of people like myself, you know, we do dig, uh, you know, having these options and collecting these mini consoles. And I know none of these are necessarily perfect. Uh, but this one is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, not my favorite mini, uh, but it does rank up there. We're going to have to do a video on that at some point. Like, you know, what are my favorites and why type of thing. Um, but going to go ahead and end the video here. There will be a giveaway linked in the description for you to enter. I did order another one of these TurboGrafx-16 mini uh, to ship out to somebody who wins. So take a look at that giveaway. Just something I wanted to do. So I ordered one, paid for it. We'll ship it to one winner. Um, I'll have the details listed below. So take a look at that. Really do appreciate you guys. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.